Hey everybody, this is Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. Welcome to Thursday, 9th of April. The government flip on the NBN tender has to be one of the great moments in Australian political history. To go from a private fibre to the node offering at a weak source 12 megabit to a public fibre to the home network at 100 meg is, for a geek, the stuff dreams are made of. Yeah, it'll be eight years in the making, and I'd expect to pay around $100 a month at launch. But, and this is the number one but, if we can convince the government between now and launch to make sure and ditch the usage limit bullshit that we currently endure, I think the nation will see a seismic shift in our potential as an online powerhouse. This is end of Telstra, end of TV type stuff. Like a book of revelations for ye oldie content networks. There is plenty of detail to explore and debate, but I think in a basic sense they've got this right. Network technology is the new electricity. This is the real power behind 21st century culture and business. And by throwing down serious public dough, I'm building out an infrastructure that by 2016 could already be shifted upward to 200 megabit and beyond. It will really lift our competitive position in the world. I think Turnbull is playing some petty politics on this, but perhaps perfectly liberal politics. Telstra went public at just the wrong time in the history of communication technology. What we need now is a real national network, and I'm pleased to see this announcement. Now, if they just kill this mandatory filter business so I can stop worrying about that becoming enmeshed with the new network, I think that is way too Orwellian for my taste. Just because something is old on the web doesn't mean everybody has already seen it. So, speaking of this whole $43 billion fiber network, made my mind leap to the brilliant comedy rant by Louis C.K., dubbed everything's amazing, but nobody's happy. Too often now people act like they're owed the latest technology the moment they hear about it. So let's look forward to taking 100 megabit pipes for granted, shall we? The video from the Conan O'Brien appearance last October is up at YouTube, and it's linked in the show notes at midnightupdate.com. Samsung has launched an amazing looking range of LED TVs this week, featuring a new LED lighting technology that seems to rival OLED at a fraction of the price. Samsung claims 3 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio, but canning some of that dynamic fluff there, we'll still be talking true contrast in the hundreds of thousands. Some models are also specced with internet connectivity and widget options, though I've heard no mention of whether this is based on the Intel chips that we saw demoed at Intel Developer Forum last year. They're talking about a 9MSN widget available in August, but that just kind of makes me think, meh, bring on widgets with real online content, not TV partner content. If you haven't heard the early talk, Nvidia has been developing a great new miniature computing platform called Ion. It's a new graphics processing platform targeting tiny systems built around low-powered CPUs like Intel's Atom. We're talking netbook small, but with desktop quality graphics and HD video performance. Acer has just announced the first system to be built around Ion, dubbed Revo. It will handle four gigs of RAM as well and offers HDMI out, making it perfect for a new generation of TV-focused mini computers and they're talking around $300 US dollars price tag. It's also set for launch around mid-year. Anybody remember Intel's Vive? Ah, uh, how far we've come. If you're the type to get annoyed by price changes, then get annoyed with iTunes. The variable pricing changes have now hit the iTunes store with hot new release tracks from all your favorite overhyped and overpaid artists running at $2.19. Then there's the typical $1.69 we've always known, and a new $1.19 for back catalogue. Right now, it's still hard to spot much that isn't still at $1.69, but it'll be interesting to see how much old stuff settles down to $1.19, and how long new release content stays at that premium price point. Music industry, make your move. That's all for tonight's update. Thanks for stopping by. Join us weeknights around midnight Sydney time for Daily Geek News. And for more coverage, visit midnightupdate.com.